very important notes about generative functions. Don't treat generative function as a formula, first of all. Don't treat this as a formula. So do not treat this as a formula. This generative function is a function. This is a function. This is not a formula. This generative function is not a formula. What I want to say, let me tell you. For example, this is a formula for area, right? If you have a circle, then what is the formula for what is the formula for uh, uh, formula for its uh, area? What is the formula for its area? If you have a circle with radius r, if you have a circle with radius r, then what is the formula for area? That is pi r square. Now, if r is equal to one, then what will be the area? That will be pi. If r is equal to two, then what will be the area? Then what will be the area? Then area will be four pi. Okay. So remember, this is the formula for this is the formula for area of circle. This is the formula. This is the formula. So you can replace. You can replace r with one, two, whatever value you want. You can replace. But something interesting will happen in the generative function. This generative function is not a formula. So don't put the values of x. This is not a formula. So don't put values of x. Don't put values values for x. Because remember, I told you, we are not interested in x. We never put the value for x. So don't put value for x. Never put value for x. For example, you have this generative. This is the generative function, right? For this sequence, like if I give you this sequence a zero, a one, a two, a three. This is your generative function uh, one 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 one. Okay, correct. Now for this sequence, the generative function is one upon one minus x. Now if I want to find, if I want to find a, if I want to find a two, if I want to find a two. Then can I do G two? Tell me, can I can I do G two for this sequence? For this sequence, remember, for this sequence, this is the generative function. This is the generative function for this sequence. This is the generative function. Now, if you want to find a two, then can I do G two? What will be G two? G two will be G two will be minus one. Is this correct? Is this correct? So this is wrong, yes or no? So this is wrong. So are you getting what I am saying? So don't put the values of x. First of all, generative function don't treat like a normal formula. This is not a formula. First of all, this generative function is not a formula. So don't put, please don't put values for x. Never put values for x in the generative function. Now let me also tell you when can you put value for x. Let me tell you. See, very simple. This this is the generative function a zero plus a one x square plus a two x. Sorry, a a zero plus a one x plus a two x square plus a three x cube and so on. Now tell me how to find a zero. Just tell me this point. If I want to find a zero, then what should I do? Now you can put x equal to zero, right? Now you can put x equal to zero. Just put x equal to zero. G x is equal to this. Your generative function G x is equal to this. Now if you put x equal to zero, if you put x equal to zero, what will what will you get? What will you get if you put x equal to zero? So if you put x equal to zero, you will get a zero. Very good. It looks very nice. But remember, but remember, if I put x equal to one, what I will get? If I put x equal to one, what I'm I, what I will get? If I put x equal to one, x equal to one. If I put, if I put x equal to one, then g one is equal to, then g one is equal to, then g one is equal to summation of all these terms. G one is summation of all these terms. Yes or no? So g one is not a one. G one is not a one. G one is summation of all these terms. Is it clear? So G one is the summation of all these terms. G one is not equal to a one. So G zero is always equal to a uh, a zero. In the generative function, if you put x equal to zero, then you will get a zero. Very good. But 
if you want to find a1 then don't put g1 if you want to find a2 don't put g2 now tell me if you want to find a1 then what should i do so this is your gx gx is equal to a0 plus a1 x power 1 plus a2 x square plus a3 x power 3 this a1 i want to find then what should i do to find this a1 i only want a1 do the differentiation see do the differentiation if you do the differentiation then what you will get just do the differentiation what you will get you will get something like this 3 a 3 x square and so on now you put x equal to 0 now put x equal to 0 then what you will get now put x equal to 0 what you will get then you will get a1 okay so a1 is equal to remember a1 is not equal to g1 remember a1 is not equal to g1 but a1 is equal to g dash 1 if you do the differentiation then you find so this is g dash 1 is this clear so now are you getting the idea generative function is not like a normal formula don't treat like a normal formula where you can put the value of x we don't put the value of x we don't do that here okay is this clear we don't do that here we don't put the value of x in the generative function so this is what i'm saying g0 is equal to a0 g dash 1 in the g dash you find the generative function uh, differentiation then you put the value 0 sorry value 0 g dash 0 g dash 0 is equal to a1 now tell me if i want to find a2 then what should i do i want to find a2 this is what i want then what should i do what will be a2 can i say a2 will be equal to g dash g double dash 0 is this correct is this correct tell me is this correct no this is wrong because now you will do two time differentiation this is wrong because what you will do do two time differentiation okay so you will do two time differentiation first you will get g dash x then you will get g double dash x so when you do the two time differentiation in the first time you will get a1 plus 2a2x plus 3a3x square and so on if you again do the differentiation then you will get 2a2 plus 3 into 2 into a3x power 1 plus 4 into 3 into 2 in so i think no 4 into 3 so i think that will be for example for example here you will have 4 into a4 into x cube so here what you will get you will get 4 into 3 into a4 into x square and so on now you can now if you put g double dash 0 then what i will get g double dash 0 that is equal to 2a2 g double dash 0 is equal to 2a2 okay so finally i can say g so here what i can say i can say that g double dash 0 that is equal to 2a2 now tell me g triple dash if i do g triple dash 0 then what that will be g triple dash 0 if i do three time differentiation three time differentiation what that will be that will be 3 factorial into a3 that will be 6 a3 if you do four time differentiation 0 that will be 4 factorial a4 so these are the interesting points we have about generative function so these are very interesting point if you have a generative function like this now remember these are the interesting points very interesting points that in this generative function if you directly put x equal to 0 you will get a0 so a0 you can get directly directly you can get so for a0 you don't have to uh, you don't have to struggle for a0 but if you want if you do the differentiation then you put 0 then you will get a1 if you do double differentiation double differentiation then you put 0 then you will get 2a2 if you do three time differentiation so if you if you do three time differentiation three time then you put zero then you will get three factorial into a3 three factorial into a3 four time differentiation if you put zero that is four factorial a4 so n time you differentiate 
then what you will get? You will get n factorial into a n. Okay, is this clear? These points are they clear? And also note, also note that in generative function, you cannot do this. That g two is not equal to a two. G three is not equal to a three. Yes, g zero equal to a zero. Yes, that is correct. But g one is not equal to a one. This g one is not equal to a one. Okay, so this is the idea. So note these things. You note. If you want g one, then you can. Uh, if you want a one, if you want a one, then you can do differentiation. Then you can put zero. Then you can put zero. This generative function is very interesting topic. And see, we will cover everything. If you understand everything, then you will definitely get two marks. This generative function is not easy. Many students they will not be able to get the marks in generative function. I want you to get the marks. Okay, so from generative function, whatever question comes, you should get the marks. Generating function, you have a sequence. For that sequence, you are finding generative function. For that sequence, you are creating the power series, and that uh, that power series is the generative function. So remember here. Just one, uh, just one final point. One final point that, for example, this is your sequence. If I tell you that one, 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 this is your sequence. This is your sequence. In sequence, you don't have x. There is no x in this sequence. You can notice in this sequence there is no x. For this sequence, the generative function is this: one plus x plus x square plus x cube. This is the generative function. This is also the generative function. This thing, if I can also write like this, so both are the generative function, right? Yes or no? Both are the generative function. This is also the, this is also the generative function. This is also the generative function. This and this they are same. Now let me tell you, this is this is known as open. This is called open form. This is called open form of generative function. And this is closed form of generative function. This is the closed form of generative function, and that is the open form of generative function. So because this is open, so this is called open form of the generative function, and this is closed. This is a very simple expression. So this is called closed form of the generative function. And this is also called this open form. This is also called power series form. This is also called power series form. of generative function is it clear so for any sequence whatever sequence you have if you have any sequence for example a0 or maybe h maybe h0 h1 h2 and so on this sequence you have then for this sequence the generative function will be like this you know h0 plus h1x plus h2x square and so on this form this is known as open form you can either call it open form or you can call it power series form so you can call it open form or you can call it power series form and if you if you write this as a formula if you write this as a like closed formula if you write if you get a formula something like some some very closed formula if you get a very uh, like this type of simple expression if you get then that will be called closed form that will be called uh, closed form if you get a like if you get a simple formula like this something like this if you get something okay so that will be called closed form like this here this is the closed form okay 